Okay. Mr. Head Teacher, do we, should I start? Do we continue? Have you gone through the preliminaries of your, you are in the middle of your meeting anyway? Yes, please. You're welcome. You can get started. Okay. Okay, um, thank you, Mr. Head Teacher. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? I don't want to make noise for my team uh, here in the ministry. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so members, this is the face that is going to be talking to you. And I could go straight to my presentation there. Okay, this morning I'm delighted to be meeting the staff of Lango College. I hope I'm in the right place. I should not be in the wrong place. You're in the right place. Uh, okay, I know I was there two days ago. I think I passed by two days ago. And I tried to look into the staff room, but knowing that it was holiday, I could not find anyone there. So we agreed with the head teacher that we put up a Zoom meeting so that I say hello to those that I missed. But most importantly, this is technology and technology should bring us closer. So my name is Ronald Dungu. I'm a principal education officer here in the Ministry of Education. I support on a number of issues, um, but today I will talk a little bit on EMIS, but also go into other subjects. I'm a physics math teacher. I hope I have some physics math teachers in the room. I also yeah. use I use technology. I hope the teachers in Lango are also using technology because we should be able to connect on Zoom and talk anytime. Um, instead of you walking to the ministry looking for somebody, we should meet regularly on Zoom. I'm also an advocate for agriculture education. I hope some of you love agriculture, but I'm also going to speak a little bit on an initiative that touches agriculture. And I'm an advocate for contextualizing uh, learning using the 17 sustainable development goals. And I hope some of you have read about the sustainable development goals. I will send this presentation to Simon so that you pick the link. And I would love that you read about the sustainable development goals um, before your term actually starts. So I would go deep. I would go now into my presentation and I'm going to start from the Education Management Information System, EMIS. This morning I opened your portal, Lango College, and I discovered that you have 435 learners. Maybe that is not very correct. There could be some learners who have not been registered due to a number of issues, and I'm not going to keep um, to that. I also noted that you have some three female learners, so the person working on EMIS, in future when we are opening the editing tool, we need to do away with these learners. I'm sure there was an error when you are entering one of the index numbers that brought a female student. But I also noted that you have 54 teachers and that is my concern this morning. So if you have 54 teachers, I don't know how many of us are sitting here today. And that is very interesting, Mr. Head Teacher, for the members who are attending today. And I'm not going to ask for the register or who is available, but with the technology, if we are all um, having a mobile phone, which is uh, capable of uh, reaching us, they should have connected from wherever they are. So the next meeting I will attend in Lango College should bring me the 54 because I see you by face on EMIS. And this morning I looked through all these faces. I noted that you have 37 male teachers of which 36 are qualified. Maybe the other one is the, the trained one of ICT 
or somebody who may not be um, having a teaching qualification. But the 37 male teachers, I can see you by face here on my system. And I had hoped that I will be seeing you in the room. Maybe some of you, I can spot you, but I'm not going to go into that. I also noted that you have 17 female teachers and they are all qualified. That is very good. It looks like Lango College has teachers who are well qualified. They're on the government payroll. They have um, an EMIS, uh, so that they have a TMIS number because they are all here. Said so, teacher, is that right that these are the only teachers you have 54? in school? No, it is not right. We received a few more teachers and we are now 61. Okay. So yeah, those ones will come on. I'm sure they have their Timis number. If they don't have their Timis number, then they have to begin applying for the Timis number. But I want to congratulate you, Mr. Head Teacher, for making sure that all the teachers are on the platform. In other schools, I'm struggling, we are struggling as a ministry for our head teachers to put the teachers on the system. But I also want to congratulate the teachers for keeping your papers well, for being compliant and registering on uh, the teacher management information system to get the TMIS number or to get the e-registration number because in many districts, in many schools, we are failing on that. So I want to congratulate the teachers in Lango College. That tells me that Lango College is the school to be, and this should be the school I should be visiting now and again, both online and physically. So mm -hmm. thank you dear teachers, and thank you um, Mr. Head Teacher for mobilizing um, the teachers. I want to move into a few questions, and if you can write, please write. My first question, and this is for your homework anyway, not for now. As an individual, where do you want to see Lango College in five years' time, in 10 years' time? Now, why I put five years' time, I know some of us might be uh, retiring soon, and you don't want to mention anything beyond five years time. But I'm also sure we might have one or two is retiring even this year. I've not gone into the details of your date of birth, but I can on the system, I can tell who is who and what their bio data is. The second question, as a professional teacher, what do you want to achieve in the next few years, five years time? 10 years time. When we say five years time, it starts today. Today, today, what do you want to achieve in two days, in three days, in four days, in five years time? So I want to leave that question behind. And the third question is, as an individual, what kind of life do you want to live in the next five years? You want to be a great businessman, when you retire, do you want to be a good family person? Do you want us to talk about you as a teacher who left a mark in the Lango College? And here we talk about positives. We don't talk about negatives. Because I doubt if any of you wants to be a killer. If you want to be a killer, then that is also dangerous. We would rather arrest you now and put you in jail. So you are going to find time as you prepare for the new term. Write for me these three questions. The next time I'm in Lango College for any one reason or another, I may bump into you and I would love to hear from you on this. But my English language teachers, if any, we teach journaling. Could you teach us as teachers? Give us a session one morning on journaling. Are you hearing me? No, I, I it's, not clear. it's not very clear. Um, is it your connection? Is it my connection? 
تستان بي سي اسوي جميل اس نوت دايركت كيريا maybe i'll stop sharing a bit i could remove my video let me remove my video let me remove my video uh -huh. okay so it is my video uh, probably what what you could do remove your video also remove your video remove your video also that might be better just remove your video so that we don't use the video now yes i've, I've stopped the video are you hearing me now yes we can, can hear you okay that is called troubleshooting you know when you are faced with a problem you have to think of what is it that is causing a problem most likely the connectivity in the Lango College is now an issue. And uh, I know you might be tethering from a phone or otherwise, but I also know that Lango College is connected to um, one of the service providers we thought about so many years ago. And it's going to be my duty to ensure that we work closely with the head teacher and we get better connection in Lango College if these questions are going to be answered by my colleagues, if people are going to use technology so that we can always meet from anywhere. You don't even have to be in a staff room. One day I would like us to organize a staff meeting where everyone is at home on a Saturday and we see if we can log in all of us. And that is another question that I'm not going to leave as an assignment. But let's move on. Okay, um, let me just check on my presentation slide here. Okay, I want to move um, a step further just to talk about the new lower secondary curriculum and all of us are talking about it i know the senior three teachers are asking for books but i want also to mention that the books are underway probably today thursday one of the companies is starting to deliver and they might be in lango college uh, at some point so i just want to note can you hear me yes we can Okay, um, I want to read with you here, secondary school learners in Uganda studying under the new lower secondary curriculum are now expected to identify challenges in their immediate community and the world at large since Uganda is part of the global village. The reason why I'm talking about using technology, we must participate in the global village. Lango College must be had, ICT teachers, Lango College must be had. We must yes. have a blog. We must have our website. We must be had. Whatever is happening in school, the projects that the teachers are designing in the middle of our secondary curriculum, we must read about this. So I'm leaving a challenge for you, ICT department there. And you have to negotiate that with your head teacher on this. Because of this, the teachers are encouraged to learn from their learners about the common activities within the community and help them develop transformational projects, activities using the 17 Sustainable Development Goals framework. I will send this link um, when I send the presentation. Please read about the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And the next time we are talking here, maybe we shall have time for you to mention who, what are the 17 goals? And you as an individual, which one is making sense to you? And which one are you working with, not only as an individual, but also with your students? And when you decide to work with the learners, like the new curriculum tells us, we definitely become new teachers. We become new teachers and we mentor the learners. And because whatever we are doing is being shared 
then everybody will focus on Lango College. I was in Lango College. I saw that you needed a, a staff. Uh, no, your staff room, yes, needs more furniture. But I also know that you need a library. I know there are some classrooms that are being built. There is a dormitory that is yet to be completed. And all of us can get excited to support Lango College because of what is happening and done by the teachers. So my call this morning is for the teachers in Lango College to look at this new lower secondary curriculum as gold that has come our way. And let me also tell you that if you're planning to retire soon, if you will retire in 10 years time, you must start today. And the experiences you learn, the work you do with the learners is going to take you to the next um, stage. I want to share one initiative, which we called the Nehemiah Initiative. It is an initiative for greening schools, for enhanced learning and well-being. And this was launched by the First Lady and Minister of Education in 2022. I know some of you must have heard about this, but we can all learn about it. One of the objectives listed in the project document is increased tree cover in schools through performance-based tree growing by students and teachers. Can you imagine? It is saying tree growing by students and teachers. So we can ask ourselves, how many trees have you planted in Lango College as a teacher? But that should not be the question. How many will you plant in the next one month, in the next one year, in the next five years? And are you participating in what was launched by the first lady? The ministry intends to plant boundary trees to protect school land, root trees to promote nutrition, and woodlots to supply firewood to schools. So you can see that the ministry wants to protect the land in Lango College, but you also have your land at home. Don't you want to protect it? The ministry wants us to plant fruit trees to promote nutrition. You know that people are making a lot of money in jackfruit, in mangoes, and they're even going ahead um, to make juice out of mangoes. Is this something? that you as an individual would like to do so that by the time you retire, you are good to go, but you have to start it at school. If Lango College begins to make uh, mango juice for Lira City, then it means that you will be learning as a teacher. And woodlots to supply fire to schools. Why don't you set up a woodlot in your village? I had um, the president complained just recently or yesterday, it is in a Choli land where people are cutting down trees and they are making uh, charcoal and he, the president said, no, that should stop. So that means that even in Lango, trees have been cut. And who uses this firewood? It is us in schools. I, if I wanted to ask the head teacher or the bursa, how much do we spend on firewood? And yet I know that Lango College has, I don't know how many unused acres and they have the children who can plant a tree each, two trees each, five trees each. They also have 54 teachers who can supervise at least one stream every time and make sure these trees are planted. I imagine that this Nehemiah initiative is possible. So the subject I want to talk to you about is planting trees as a school, but most importantly, as a professional, contextualizing teaching and learning in schools using a tree garden. My question four, which I would like you to write down, and please, if you can, write down this question. Is there any topic in the new lower secondary curriculum, you are going to teach this term to 2023 that can make use of the item referred to as a tree or trees or forest to deliver an intended learning outcome. Now, when we talk about a tree, 
I don't want us to look at it as it looks, but they are fruit trees. The biology teacher could go into nutrition. There is manure needed to grow this tree. The agriculture teacher who planted the tree could as well um, look at making organic manure. When you are making organic manure, the chemistry teacher should be telling us about artificial chemicals and why artificial chemicals and organic manure um, are not the same when we are growing trees. There are many things that you can think about here. The geographer. The geographer, you know what forests are about in your um, curriculum. I hope this is still there or not. The mathematics teacher, how does this tree grow? The rate of growth, the circumference, the statistics questions you are going to teach in senior three, why do you use the textbook? Can't you measure the circumferences of the trees on your compound? I saw many trees and you generate data, but in effect, you are asking the students to think about the goodness of trees. So I want to leave question four for you and request as a team teaching in that class, senior one to senior three, think about question four above and write a short lesson plan that can be followed by a teacher using a tree, trees, forest in their classroom. And for now, we are keeping it on the paperwork. Just think about it. But then I will ask you in the next slide, can you do it if you have written about it? Can you do it? But as a Lango College, with all the qualified teachers I've seen, I keep seeing every morning, can I get lesson plans that can be shared with other schools so that the minister gets to know that Lango College is the leading in contextualizing teaching and learning in schools using a tree garden. And they want all the schools to plant trees because they can use them in the classroom. And guess what? Everybody will be running to Lango College. Needless to mention, computer rooms will be coming there so that we can see the, what you are doing every day. Students can share their stories. The library will be built, better library, because everyone wants to see the students who are giving stories, where they learn from. The number of students that will come to Lango College, because that is where learning is, can be enormous. You may not realize that a small activity done by a whole staff working together, collaborating, networking, can change the school. But also, we need only one teacher to say, I want to do this. I will show the way and let the whole world get to know that the students in S1 and S2 are out in the field. They've planted a tree. So many months later, the tree is growing. And at some point, all of us will be excited to learn about Lango College. So friends, I just want to share with you that in some schools, um, this happened in 2016. I was able to see students in one of the schools planting fruit trees and they went on to plant woodlots. So what do we need? Maybe there are no holes in the school. So then we need somebody to bring the holes. Maybe there are no fruits. See, the seedlings are not there. The agriculture teacher should tell us, how do we get seedlings of an avocado tree, seedlings of a jackfruit tree, seedlings of eucalyptus? How do we come from seed if this is not taught to the learners in the agriculture class in senior one and two, then what should be taught there? That is a big question to the agriculture teacher, but it's also a big question to the ICT teacher. We want to see the pictures. It is also a big question to the mathematics teacher who wants to see students measuring the rate of growth and so on and so forth. That history teacher, who wants to tell us about the local trees 
in Lango sub region and what they used to use the trees for, the forests for in the earlier days of life. We need to hear stories from every teacher, the English language teacher. When we plant trees, we can write compositions, we can write poems, you can see the smiles. Fine art teacher, can you imagine that this photograph needs to be drawn by your art students so that we see the fine art in them? I cannot mention everyone, but if I sat with every teacher, I could tell them that this one tree is important in your class. That is one teacher in one of the schools. You might recognize the face, but that teacher participated in planting the woodlot at Gayaza High School. And right now, Gayaza High School has a woodlot a few years later. So what we want to do as the Lango College, I want us to think about the initiative Let's think about the questions one to three in terms of the Nehemiah initiative, the questions I left you. Greening of schools for enhanced learning and well-being was launched by the first lady and it is an indirect directive. At some point, the head teacher will be asked, what have you been able to do? But then we are also saying that the new lower secondary curriculum gives us chance to get out of our usual self and become better teachers. So we can teach with this tree in mind, but also it could be the starting point for you to start your new life, to think about taking seedlings from school, to plant your forests at home, to think about fruit trees, to think about securing your boundary, to think about greening your community, your village, and during your retirement, you might become the MOP of that place because of the greening that happened. So let's think about it beyond the school. So I want to leave another question, and this is question five. And this is a very important one. Who is ready to lead on the Nehemiah initiative and work with a head teacher to make it happen? These are questions you don't have to answer. These are questions you write down in your journal. English language teacher help us to write the journal. Go to the head teacher and say, I want to be a part of this initiative. Can we find out more about it? What do we have to do? Where do we get the seedlings? How do we organize ourselves? We don't have cause. Where is the land? Now, I also discovered that some teachers in schools never get to know all the land in school. When I was at Gayazai School in 2015, we did one activity. We brought all the parents and all the teachers one Saturday and we walked around the boundaries of the school, covering the 103 acres of land. And before we knew it, Many people were asking, why don't we do something in that corner? Why don't we do something in that corner? And the staff members were coming together and everybody knew what is lying in the other corner. So I want to suggest, Mr. Head Teacher, that you find time, even if it was to kill off a Friday afternoon, for you and your learners to walk around, just walk around. And I know the ICT teacher will take pictures and we'll put it on the blog. And you will say, because of the Nehemiah initiative, we are walking around the boundaries of our school to know how much land we have, but also to know where we can plant trees. And I'm telling you, the first lady will come running. She will come running to Lango College. She may not come physical, but she will come on Zoom to see the men and women who are making things happen. So I want to encourage you in question five, to please join hands with the head teacher in the work that you are doing. But now I'm specifically talking about the Nehemiah initiative, which is something that was launched by the first lady. As a principal education officer, 
in the government secondary schools department. By the way, I didn't tell you that I'm also um, given the responsibility of deploying and transferring teachers. Never mind, there is a ban now, no transfers. So if you want to transfer from Lango College to go to another school, please don't come because there is a ban. But I don't want you to transfer because good things are going to happen in Lango College in a few years time, in a few months time, in a few weeks time. And all of us will be talking about Lango College. So stay put, stay in Lango College, but let us make things happen. Let everybody know how the physics teacher is teaching and developing an irrigation system that can be used to water trees that have been planted. What sort of irrigation system is coming up? And maybe these are students in S2 who learned about pressure, but the physics teacher is talking to the mathematics teacher who teaches gradient, and they're using a gradient system to water trees. These are the things we teach. So I'm only here to inspire you and to help you think uh, beyond the usual. In my closing remarks, as an individual, I'll be happy to receive your ideas as a department in question four and the plans of the school, including support needed in question five. Mr. Head Teacher, my job is to support schools. My job is to support you. My job is to support the teachers in their department meeting to think about question four. If that is necessary, we can make another Zoom meeting and interact with the physics department, interact with the chemistry department, mathematics, that is my subject, English language, fine art, mention it, so that we share and agree on how our lesson plan I talked about in question four can be made, because we have a job to do as government and to impact on our communities, but also Lango College, you have a job not only to impact on schools, especially the private schools in Lira City, but across the country. You are a big school with 54 teachers. I cannot imagine how much you can do together. And I'm sure my commissioner for government secondary schools, my permanent secretary, Mama, will be happy to hear about the developments at Lango College and the men and women causing the change from school to community to the world at large. I want to thank you for allowing me to speak to you this morning, but let us continue talking. I will always be open for any Zoom call. My Airtel number, which is on WhatsApp, is 0701-433-878. 0701-433-878. That is my Airtel um, number, which is on WhatsApp. My MTN is 0772-433-879. I can be reached on MTN, I can be reached on Airtel. But I want to warn you, the WhatsApp number is very busy because I support MEs from pre-primary to the university. It's not easy, it's a big undertaking, but I'm happy. I also want to tell my mathematics friends that we normally host what we call um, online seminars online seminars, and that is because I'm a mathematician. And now that I'm at the ministry, I want to invite you to join in our online seminar that will happen soon. All you need is the connection that we are hearing today, that we are having today. And since you're on the Renew network, we shall work quickly with the head teacher and Renew to ensure that when that seminar is happening, the internet connectivity is on, but it is also boosted. It is doubled such that you can speak. You can speak to us from wherever you are. And we want to see that student in senior four discussing that mathematics number and making all the others learn about the good that their teacher was able to give them. 
So prepare, my friends in the mathematics department, prepare. I will send um, the link, the dates to the head teacher who will inform you about this. But that is not only for the mathematics team. I also know that we can do it for many subjects, but because now I'm a mathematics teacher, I want to see the connectivity across schools. But as I want you, my WhatsApp is always busy. I will give you my email. My email, you take my name, Ronald. Ronald has a D and Dungu has a double D. So there are three Ds, ronalddungu at gmail.com. Be sure when you send me an email, I will respond. When you send a WhatsApp, it might get swallowed by the 2,000 messages I'm getting. But at least the email for Lango College, I will be able to see it. Do not write an email asking me about transfer. Do not write an email telling me about the challenges in Lango College, but write me an email telling me about the Nehemiah project. Tell me what you are planning to do. Department heads, please, I want question four uh, answered so that we can move together as Lango College. Mr. Head Teacher, thank you for inviting me to this session and I want to end there. I may not have time for many questions, but if there is one or two questions, you can turn on your camera so that I see the person asking the question and they can come to the front to ask the question if there is any for now. I thank you. Thank you very much. I think we now give our teachers the chance to ask one or two questions. Is there any teacher, mathematics teachers, and all the members, is there any, any question we have had? It's too busy. More time is up. Come and sit here, and then you. At least if we get a man, we will also get a lady okay. to balance it. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you very much, the PAO and the ministry. Uh, mine is not a question for now. First, give me your name so that I go back to the system to know who was the question. <laughs> um, I'm Alex Okulo. Alex? Okulo. Okay, go ahead. Yes, mine is not a question as such. It is an appreciation for the eye opener that you have given us. Uh, some of us might have taken time at Langu College, but uh, maybe we may leave when we have not impacted on uh, a lot as we should have. Like you have said, if we planted some trees, I would come back maybe 10 years down the road to come and see my trees grown, uh, my woodlot and the like. It is a good eye opener for us, making us more productive and more vital in the society. As Okulo, I know other teachers as well, will get in touch with the head teacher and we do the needful. As Okulo, I'm making a promise that I'll join the team that will work on the Nehemiah project to ensure at least I leave Lango College a better place. So it is just a pledge that we shall move on well. Thank you so much for the work Alex, done. Alex, before you leave and for everybody, let me, let, let me tell you that we are coming up with an app, a mobile app, where when you plant a tree, you enter your name and then you take a picture of that tree. So then it records the GPS, it records the time, and it records the place, of course, the place where you planted. And if you go back the next time and take the same tree, it shows us how it is growing. But also when you go back to the village and you mobilize people to grow trees and you recommend them, while they put in their nin, you also put in your nin to show what you did. And how will we know the excellent teachers in this country? Where will we find them? How do we reward excellent teachers? What are they for in this world? This is going to be a tracker for us as educationists. But I want to tell you, if 
you do it well, and if we do it well, starting with this Nehemiah project, you will see that you'll be written in world accolades because the world is asking us to grow more trees and the, um, the physics people should tell us about global warming at this stage. They should tell us about the world initiatives and who knows, the world might be running to Lango College because Alex Okulo decided to start. So I want to thank you. And for the learners, Mr. Head Teacher, they will be putting their learner identification number. So then we shall track them up to university, how many trees they have planted. And this is going to start from pre-primary. Now yours are already of age, but it's going to start from pre-primary such that 20 years later, a student, a learner in Uganda can tell us how many trees they have planted and how many trees they've been part of in supporting other people to plant. So thank you, Okulo, and that is commendable. So let the others also join you and let us get going. Maybe, yes. yes. I wanted also to inform you or remind you if at all you had a chance to witness our, the global warming project that uh, Langu College presented at the National Science Fair. And there later on, we also were picked. We were actually the best in that global warming project. We had to present it for the Comsteder 19 at the national level. It was well done. We, now going, we are going now to embark much more on it, at least to make Langu College now a center for all the other schools. Thank you. And I want to tell you that made me think that Lango College will be a leading school in this because some learners mentioned something to do with global warming. So let's put everything in perspective. Let's take it from the gardens and put it in the classroom. Let's write about it in newspapers. The English language teacher, let's have a bulletin. ICT teacher, let's have a bulletin from Lango College on this. And Lango College will become the star school in this world. Is there a lady, Mr. Head Teacher? Yes, lady. I thank you so much. Um, the Principal Education Officer, Ministry of Education and Sports. My name is Susan Rachel Akidi. I am a teacher at Long College, teaching English language literature and general paper. We are so much delighted for this initiative that you have thought it wise to talk to us, the teachers of Lango College, about um, uh, the Nehemiah's initiative and uh, Uganda's struggle to make sure that we reach the LDG through tree planting, and also above all the Nehemiah's initiative. Um, we as teachers of Lang College, we are actually so much delighted because we're going to take this one up through the greening of the schools and has English language and department, we're going to write articles to support the tree planting and we're going to make beautiful poems and also actually the actual planting of trees. Because when you plant a tree, according to me, when you plant a tree, you plant a thought and a thought of different uh, ideas. So we're going to make the rainy seasons in our district so much useful. I thank you so much and we're going to pick it up right from now. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, Susan. I cannot, I cannot tell you how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I thank have you, had, I have had something from a special teacher. Well done. Thank you, Lango College. And Mr. Head Teacher, I want to request that I share this recording with the PS to listen to the voices of Lango College. If Thank you can you so allow much. me share this with the PS to listen in, in our meeting, I think that would be um, commendable. And I want everyone to know that Lango College is on the move forward. Um, the past could have been bleak, but the future should be great for right. everyone. 
Mr. Head Teacher, I must say I should leave now because of uh, my next uh, appointment, but I want to thank you for the time you've given me and please invite me. Invite me to come and physically meet the 54 teachers in Nango College to participate when you are planting the trees because then I will know that an effort has started. I'll be happy to join you and work with the 54 teachers, but also work with the uh, number of students they are. And that should be a start. And in five years time, all of us should sit back to count how Lango College looks beyond um, the 26th day of May, 2023. I want to thank you members for allowing to listen in to me and the recording will be availed so that any other teacher was not participated. You can play it at break time so that every other person can listen in. I thank you, Mr. Head Teacher, and I sign off from here, Minister of Education, Legacy Towers, fourth floor, Government Secondary Education. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs>